Branding is a critical part of an F1 in schools team, not only because you'll be scored on your branding and team identity, but because your branding is a fundamental aspect to how your team will be perceived by everyone, including judges, teachers, friends, and family. Branding is typically the area of focus for graphic designers, but it is important that everyone is involved in the creation of your brand. As one, everyone in your team needs to have a basic understanding of your branding, as you will have a marketing interview which everyone needs to contribute to and speak in. And two, everyone should have an input in the creation of your brand. While this video will have general advice, make sure to check the scorecard for your country to see what you need to address. So let's begin with what a brand is. A brand is what sets your team apart from others. It defines your team and how others will see your team. More specifically, a brand refers to the following elements. Your team name, logo, typography, color scheme, and how you apply these onto your competition elements, including your uniform, portfolio, and trade display. So how do you go about creating your brand? The first step is to decide on your team name. Perhaps you already have a team name in mind. Why have you chosen your team name? You'll need to justify your choice of team name in your portfolio. The second step is to figure out what your team name represents and what values you want your brand to have. Perhaps you want to be professional, or maybe you want to be fun or trendy. The next step is to choose your color palette. Different colors hold different meanings and they also have different psychological effects. This is called color psychology, and we're going to have a quick look at a few colors and the various effects that they have. Red typically represents high-speed energy. It is an attention grabber and it stimulates your pulse rate. A good example of a red team in Formula One is Ferrari. Blue conveys trust with loyalty and intelligence. It is a soothing color and is a popular choice for tech companies. It is one of the most popular colors for businesses. Yellow is the strongest color in a psychological sense. It is the color of caution but also warmth, happiness, joy, optimism and confidence. Be careful not to overuse yellow if you choose it as your primary colour. Green is the colour of the environment, and also health, nature, harmony and balance. It shows reassurance, however if it's used incorrectly, it can be perceived as blandness. Purple conveys luxury and prestige. Historically it represented wealth and royalty, as it was once the most expensive colour to reproduce. It's often used in candy and toys. Orange shows warmth, security, fun and cheerfulness. Black conveys seriousness, professionalism, sophistication and excellence. Your logo will most likely have a black version anyway for certain applications. The next step is to develop your logo concept. Go back to the brainstorm you did earlier. What are your team values and what does your team represent? For example, if your team represents unity, you can consider a symbol that represents this, such as an infinity symbol. Your logo should incorporate the values in your brainstorm. This is important so that you can justify why you use certain elements in your logo. Do not expect to get the logo that you want with your first design. F1 in schools is all about iteration and refinements. It will take multiple concepts before you get it right, and to get high marks on the branding school cards, you're going to need to show how you developed your logo through multiple concepts and ended up with your final design. Logos are typically designed through vector illustration software, such as Adobe Illustrator. However, for initial concepts, online logo makers can be used, or even pen and paper if that's easiest for you. Remember, you need to document your concepts as these can be used in your portfolio.